else please tell me if this has happened to you where you get your nails done and then about like a week and a half later it breaks and then it completely falls off but the rest of your nails still look good so I'm in this weird dilemma where I have like a nail that's gone but my nails look bad and like what do I do I don't want to take them off hey guys it's Queen DeBay but you can call me Debbie I have not said that in a while and it feels great to say it again I like lost myself for a minute there I lost myself and I don't worry I am here and I'm wearing this tiara again because I like how it looks in videos and I feel special. This is my Sweet 16 tiara by the way, it's not like a real diamond or anything, I'm, I'm cheap, okay, I'm cheap AF. But today, if you can't tell by the title, I am doing a Snapchat things that annoy me. And I'm not going to say I'm innocent of all these things even though I kind of am because I rarely use Snapchat but like I'm not completely innocent, these are just some of the things that people do that are really like... No, like <laughs> they just are really annoying so yeah let's just like stop talking but before I'm gonna remind you guys to subscribe if you have not seen my face before and if you're new to my channel and I always leave my social media my YouTube Twitter which I'm way more active on than my Instagram and my YouTube Instagram which I post literally like once every three weeks or something but if you want to follow me on Instagram you should do that because that would be really cool but yeah Let's get into this video about those Snapchat biatches who do this. Not just girls, there's guys too, but it's mostly girls. Mostly girls. Mm. Okay, the first thing, this is just my opinion on all these things, but is the no one text snap. I just feel like this is the biggest, like, I want attention thing to do. Maybe on occasion if it's like, my mom took my phone, don't text me, she has it or something like that. That's fair. But a lot of times people are just in their like, no one likes me. No one cares that I exist except for my parents. And like, I know I have like this 68 TV in my room, and like, I have like a MacBook and a tablet and like an iPhone 7. But like, my life sucks, so no one texts me because no one cares about me. The girls who do that, honestly. I 100% they're doing it for attention and they want people to ask them, oh, what's wrong, honey? What's wrong? And they'll just be like, no one loves me. I have no friends. And they'll be like, I'll be your friend. And like, I don't want you. I want Nicholas over there. Next thing is sub snapping. Now, I don't think these people realize that this is not Twitter. You do not sub snap like, girl, you messed with the wrong girl. I'm going to come after you. I'm going to kill your family. No. Well, that was kind of extreme, but you know what I mean? Like, why are you snub, snub, snapping, snub? Why are you sub snapping? No one cares that much. And like, you might as well just say this girl, I hate her and say her name and just like sub snap. I don't know, no one's gonna see it and no one cares that much. Post it on Twitter where the whole world can see it, not Snapchat, where like a few of your friends that don't really care that you exist. <laughs> when people make musical ease on Snapchat, and you know what I'm talking about. I'll insert a video of me like imitating them like somewhere on the screen, but you know when they're all like me, me, me. <laughs> Like this is not musically, go make a musical account. Go post on there. Don't send me your good vibes in the bathtub vibing-ish. Like, no, 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 no. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm in the bathtub. It's lit, it's lit, fam, it's lit, it's lit. I'm cool, I'm a baddie. I am a baddie. Respect me. Ooh. The somebody snap snap. This just makes me upset because, like, I feel less important, but it's like... When someone sends that snap, you know they sent it to everyone in their contact list. And maybe three out of those people snap them. Because no one wants to snap yo attention looking for desperate looking cat face desperate. <laughs> this is something I don't understand. It's like keep my streaks while I'm gone. The whole streak thing, I'm like just I'm not even joking, like I'm not a part of it. I break streaks every 10 days and if I snap someone it's because I genuinely want to snap them not just because like let's start a streak yeah it's famous lit no one in my school talks like that but like 
I don't feel there's a reason to keep a streak with someone you don't really like or you don't really talk to because like why do you care that much or people like keep my streaks while I'm gone because I'm going on vacation and I want to make sure I don't like lose streaks so like when I come back I see like 10 streaks and I feel popular like if you met if you talk to those people in real life like the people you're streaking streaking not that's not the word you're snap streaking with i bet you wouldn't say a word to each other like that still makes sense to me this is just like me being wannabe um i'm all grown up i'm mature i'm not like the other girls when the other teenagers but the when people like put it on their story of them hanging out with their friends every single thing that they're doing every like minute they're putting on their snapchat I think people do this to break the awkwardness and because they want everyone to know like oh my god I have friends and we're doing all this fun stuff and I'm putting out snapchat so everyone knows I have friends and I do all this fun stuff like I just feel bad for the people that they're hanging out with because if you spend the entire time that you're hanging out and I know people who do this consistently every time they hang out with a certain person they snap it and it's just like you're not giving any attention to that person you're just putting it on your snapchat story probably just like on your phone 24 7 and that's just like like talk to your friends and that's how you know people are not like great friends if they have to snap the entire thing like hang out with your friends and hang out with your friends not to put it on snapchat and i'm guilty of doing this a few times but i know people who do it consistently and in the snap everyone else is on their phone snapping them snapping that's not exception but no hang out with your friends mm. but yeah that is all i'm gonna say about snapchat and the snapchat things that annoy me. I hope you guys like this video. If you agree with anything I say, anything that I say, anything I said, leave it in the comments. If you have some other things on Snapchat that annoy you, leave it in the comments. I actually really like reading comments and I literally reply to every single comment because I'm irrelevant, but like people like me for some reason. So yeah, I reply to every single comment and I'm rambling on, but yeah. And like I said, I always leave my Twitter and my Instagram. In the description, I'm not active on Instagram, I'm active on Twitter. Make sure you guys subscribe if you like this video so you can see more of me and my ratchet bougie tiara -ness. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Keep smiling, shining, and remember you don't need to crown me royalty. Bye! Your reflection in my wine glass. That's when I look away Can't stand anything about losing your fine ass How the fuck I let you slip away? Life for the party, but I'm dead inside Kill my vibes, it was genocide Hard to act like I've been alive I'm trying to find where I identify One time for the girl that